I mean, it would have matched my hair then. I'm <laughs> coming up right now. We got HTM Kudios versus Cosmos. Look at Cosmos wearing that Panda Global shirt. And I'm taking the shades out of Kudios right now. I think I actually saw him. <laughs> <laughs> Billy, you read my mind. <laughs> Yo. But D -O -double -D. So we're seeing Cosmos, the premier Corrin, debatably the best Corrin in the world. Yeah. Going up against Kudios' is Peach. Oh, immediately pulling a stitch face and throwing it away. No. <laughs> that was like the game right there. RNG was in his favor, but Watch, he's going to pull enough. a bomb next. He's going to pull a bomb next. I'm calling it. I'm calling it. Next pull is going to be a bomb. So one thing that I think is really relevant in the Peach matchup is uh, she really likes to float. Yeah. Okay? That's what gets all of her stuff going. Uh, but if she's floating, she can't shield, and that suddenly makes Dragon Lunge an even better option than it already is, and that move is amazing. Wow. So, uh, ooh, I saw that. We're seeing some Umeki-ish combos coming out of uh, Kudios here. Al Cosmos is going to need to be careful and not get caught in any of these... Uh, these uh, footstool and or up air shenanigans. Catch good read on. on the roll on. Really, oh. it was just good option coverage because even if he had got up neutral, wow. oh my god, Cosmos, wow. calm down. The forward throw into the jump read into the up air. A quick stop from Cosmos. Possibly another quick one coming up. Kudios may not even be able to start up these combos. Cosmos is like, you were mid tier, sit down. <laughs> these disjoints are a little bit too much for Peach to handle. Oh, but the butt is going to get right through and get him back onto the stage. Down there, not connecting into anything, but it's going to get Cosmos over to the right side of the stage. I was wrong, it wasn't a bomb. Um, <laughs> but a dash attack finally. Wow, wow that calling it out, but but just avoiding. That was a great situation regardless. If it had connected, he reversed it. If it didn't, like we saw, he was safe. Ooh, oh. Reversing, but getting beat out clean by that down air hitbox. Really interesting interaction there. Yeah, I love the way he's contesting the Dragon Lens. Most players are afraid to contest that Dragon Lens whatsoever, but we see that uh, Kudios has got the hitboxes necessary. Oh, taking a bunch of shield damage, but getting a grab to see if he's able to get an uh, edge guard here. Ooh, wow, he went just above the stage. The face. So he went for that to probably deal with Kudios just sitting next to the ledge. He wanted to catch him with that up B, but Kudios was spaced properly so that he just avoided it and then hit him with that forward smash. Yeah. Still not stealing the stock, though. Cosmos does not want to die. Yeah, Kudios bringing this game back pretty, uh, pretty well so far. Down air is not going to do it, but the Dragon Lunge piercing after that shield. Getting him onto the left side of the stage. Oh, that was, if he had read that, he could have punished him there, but he didn't get the opportunity. He baited it out, and I believe he went for the Dragon Lunge punish yeah. afterwards. Uh, just barely misspaced. Still looking really, really solid for Cosmos right now. Yeah. Peach is going to have to make some big plays to make this pass. Ooh, I love the way that uh, Kudios has been spacing himself in the air. He's not going for these obvious air dodges, these reads that uh, Cosmos has been going for. He's been jumping, floating, and then air dodging at the opportune moment to not get punished. He's been keeping, he's been doing a great job of keeping himself alive. Still can't take off this first stop from Cosmos, however. I mean, his recovery has been solid. He's been able to avoid the edge guards of Cosmos every single time. Yeah. And that's, and that's definitely what you need in this matchup, but another Dragon Lunge could be the stock in Cosmos' favor. Just getting back to the stage, using the Bomber, can he? Esgard got Ooh, that the was trade. Oh, oh, he up sucks. specials the wrong way. Peach can't grab the ledge from behind. Sad boys. But I like that I was seeing from Kudios that last stock. He, he like, he, the way he was positioning himself and the way that he was getting his hitboxes, he wasn't able to take a stock, but I, I loved the way he was playing, and I would love to see more of that next next game. Yeah, I really enjoyed the way that he was contesting the Dragon Lunge. He was able yeah. to call it out, hit it with a Peach Bomber a couple of times, catching it with the down air. And the down air clean beating the early hitboxes of that kick, really interesting stuff. So I want to see if you learned anything from that match, what he can take into the next one. Dealing with Dragon Lunge, I think, is the single most important thing about the Corrin matchup. Exactly. Yeah, I 100% agree. He's, he's definitely got that down. So we'll see um, how he's able to contest that Dragon Lunge, or how, if he's able to take off the stock in this game, too, on Town and City. Trying to use the platforms to his advantage, but jumping up on a platform willingly against Corrin is a terrifying prospect. You're just inviting him to throw out his disjoints and kill you. Yeah, Cosmos was able to, to counter the, um, the the toad this time. He was wait, he waited for it like it was an air dodge and then got a punish on it. So uh, Kudios might be a bit more weary at throwing that move out to try to contest the Dragon Lens or contest some aerial attempt from um, Cosmos.
All right, both players just kind of dancing around each other, looking for that opening. Back air is going to get it. Finally getting it down or getting it to the left side of the stage. Oh, but he gets eaten by that bite. Fully across the stage, though, not going to take it just yet. But, I mean, one more bite might do it. All right, he definitely had some dangerous presents. Yeah, 100%. Getting a, oh, a down air to the back air. So I, Kudos has done such a great job of getting Cosmos over to like these Edgeguard situations, but he hasn't figured it out yet how to Edgeguard Corrin. Right now, doing oh a phenomenal job. Oh my goodness, job. the down smash of the ledge just trades with that move? That sucks. Yeah. I have to imagine the Cosmos was holding up there, holding down to go above the ledge there. Um, I don't know. I just want to talk about what a good job Kudios did at keeping Cosmos over on that right side of the stage. Finally getting hit by that sweet spot of the Dragon, uh, dragon Lunch. Ooh, up air is going to keep him on the left side. Cosmos looking for that edge guard. And then just like letting him get back onto the stage. Oh, getting caught there. He doesn't need any more of that. If, he's, if he uses the forward hit when it connects again, that could be uh, the stock in Cosmos' favor. Mm -hmm. I think the position he connected, he just didn't want to risk it. Yeah. Oh, forward no. air connecting super strong, getting him back over to the right. Oh, but the. Uh, Miss spacing is going to result in up air. It's still living though. I'm good. amazed he was able to survive that. That up air is so strong, surprisingly powerful. Yeah, actually, like it looks like a really weak hit, but it's just so uh, hit so hard. Wow, he auto canceled that from the heavens. Okay. What an interesting landing option. Yeah. Well, it's kind of like Greninja's, right? It just after a certain distance, it just automatically cancels itself. So right. obviously, Cosmo knowing that distance threw it down there, knew it was completely plus once he hit the ground, and probably waiting for Kudios to throw out some bad option that he can punish. But yeah, still, this is looking a bit like the last stock of the first game. Kudios doing a really good job at keeping his stock, but still can't find the way to take off uh, off Cosmos' stock, and then vice versa, vice versa for Cosmos. Cosmos just can't take off his stock yet. Finally getting the forward hit. That's the hit he needed. Every other time was the back hit. Finally getting that first stock. Cosmos feeling good. Three minutes left in this game. He's playing dangerous by the ledge, though. One forwarder at the ledge will probably seal it. I love the jumps. He has. I, I rarely ever see there we go. an air dodge come out from Kudios, and another forward air is going to get him a stock. But I, he's just done such a good job at not letting himself fall into the traps that Cosmos is trying to set for him. I think the early game just... Ooh, oh, this, my God! He got the tipper of the Dragon Lunge, and that's going to be the game. He was at 85! Tippers, the, man. There was no rage involved. Tip, that's insane. Tippers, man. Great stuff from Cosmos, but also great stuff from Kudios. Hands down to him. I've never uh, seen like someone adapt and not fall into the strings that Cosmos sets up so, so, so convincingly.